Today we are turning chickpeas into eggs. <laughs> Specifically, we are making meringues, which are typically made with egg whites and sugar, but today we're making it with chickpeas. Is it possible? I don't know, but we're gonna find out today. Let's go. and welcome to my channel. We are going to be making, like I said before, meringues out of canned chickpeas. I heard that it's possible, but I seriously doubt it. So we're gonna test it out and see if it actually works. You guys love the video where I turned flour into chicken. So I decided to bring you guys another one of these kind of videos of turning one food into another. So let's get into it, shall we? So here's what you're gonna need. One can of chickpeas, sugar, and some xanthan gum. You're also going to need a hand mixer, but I don't have a hand mixer. All I have is like a little bullet blender, so we're gonna be using that today. The important part is just that we incorporate enough air into the meringue so that they're nice and fluffy. What we need from our can of chickpeas is not necessarily the chickpeas themselves, but, ooh, okay, the chickpea water. It smells pretty awful, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Save your chickpeas for something else. But we're just using this liquid here. It's called aquafaba. So I'm gonna pull out my little blender here, but if you have a hand mixer, just pour the liquid into the bowl and then blend it with the hand mixer. I'm gonna be using this whole can. We're gonna measure out how much that actually comes out to so we know how much sugar to put in. <laughs> With your leftover chickpeas, you can make anything else with it. You can check out my recipe that I have on making a vegan tuna salad out of chickpeas. I'll link the video up here and in the description below. So check that out. Total, I got about 23 tablespoons. So now that we have our aquafaba, stick it in the blender and blend it up a bit. Here we go. Ooh, it's gonna be loud in my face. up this is crazy look at that wow all right time to add the sugar okay so I ended up adding about 30 tablespoons of sugar I also added a teaspoon of the xanthan gum so I am seeing a little bit of a problem with this because as you can tell this is full to the top and what we're trying to do is blend air into it and if there's no air in this container how are we supposed to add air into the mixture right so we need a bigger container Ooh, we've done that but there is yet another problem that I am noticing this Smells not good. Even if it looks like a meringue, feels like a meringue, I'm not about to eat a bean flavored thing, right? So we're gonna add a dash of vanilla. Boop, that's enough. I just took this out of the blender and look at this, you guys. Ooh, I don't know what that is. I don't know about this. It smells like beans and a hint of vanilla, but ooh, Jesus himself needs to bless this thing because right now it needs a lot of help. I have this baking sheet that I've lined with some tin foil and I'm gonna grease it with a little bit of coconut oil and then we're going to scoop and place this onto the pan. <laughs> Here we're gonna try them out. The first time they came out really flat and really dark. And then I thought, oh my gosh, it's because I left them in the oven too long. You know, I, I was supposed to be only like 45 minutes at 250 and I left them in at like 275 for like two hours. So with my last can of chickpeas, I tried again and this is what happened. The color looks like the color it's supposed to be. The texture feels right, but it's flat. This is how they came out. Looking flat as heck, kind of bubbly. I used a blender, so obviously you weren't supposed to use a blender, you're supposed to use like a hand mixer. Or it could also be maybe I put too much sugar and maybe that like weighed it down and so they flattened out. Let's try it and see if it even resembles a meringue. Let's see if this works. Oh shoot. <laughs> okay, so just they just won't rip. All right, let's try it, here we go. 
Wow, that is amazing. This really tastes like a meringue. To say I am shocked is an understatement. Obviously, it came out flat, so it's not as airy and light as a meringue usually is. If I had all the right tools, it probably would have worked better. The outside parts are like exactly like a meringue. Well, you heard it here, guys. It works. You gotta try it. You gotta let me know how it comes out for you, especially if you have a hand mixer. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys love this video, and I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Try it out. Let me know how it goes when you do. Make sure to hit the thumbs up button and also hit subscribe if you haven't already. I put out a new video every week on Wednesday, so I'll see you guys again next Wednesday. Bye! I got about 15, 15. Take a look at this. It just came out of the oven. The oven? <laughs>